Okay guys, Carolina Gamer here. I'm going to show you how to flash your light on DVD burner to enable you to write XGD3 games without any errors. This is the iHaz 424. It is Windows compatible. Smart X for erase, which could be, I don't know. I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you, but it's cool, I guess. SATA, and it has light scribe. Um, you can actually cross flash it to enable label tag as well. Um, here's some quick specs. I hope you can read them. I'll just pause it right here for you. This does include Nero Essentials and a SATA cable inside. And is the iHaz 42498B drive. Um, I got this from Amazon for 26 bucks. That included the shipping, which was free because it was over $25. They have since lowered the price to $23. So let's go ahead and set this camera down, and then I will show you all the drive. First things first, though, I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to be using the SATA cable that I already have here. I already got it out. I'm going to be using a Molex adapter right here. Um, and pretty much all of these that you get off of Amazon, eBay, come with a Molex to SATA connector, which is this right here. Um, so that's all you need. Uh, this one here has a light when it's plugged up. But, uh, this right here works great for you and to connect to my laptop I'm going to be using the X360 USB Pro right here um, this is why I'm taking the plastic off of it I use it a lot but I just don't want anything to happen to the top of it um, so I'm going to be connecting that to the computer to connect the drive it works flawlessly so let's go ahead and pull out the drive You know, it's, it's, this is the DVD drive. There's nothing special about the packaging. So, we'll set that right there. Pull this off. Uh, set that down. First, we'll just show you what's in here. Um, you got the Neuro Essentials 9. You've got a SATA cable, screws for it as well, and an instruction manual. I don't know if anybody ever reads these things, to be honest with you. I doubt they do, but you have it in there. I think some warranty information too. Basically, just throw that back in the box. Set these foam pieces back in there as well. So let's get to the drive. It comes in plastic. Just open the plastic. Pull the drive out. Uh, SATA connections there. You know your normal PC drive got the front here it says light scribe it's got your uh, DVD multi recorder for your dual layers it also burns CDs as well check the bottom out which is where you can confirm again that it is a light on B model the I has 42498B um, so yeah that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this for you guys. And then I'll go to you on the computer and tell you how to program it. So let's go ahead and plug in the SATA in here. It's connected. Then we'll plug in the other SATA in here, which is the power SATA cable. It's connected there. Let's set that down. Then we will plug it into the X360 USB Pro. It's in there. Then we'll plug in the USB. If we can ever find it, there it is. And then we'll connect that to the computer.
if it will ever find it as well. There we go. That's ready there. Then what we're going to do is plug in the Molex adapter. And you know, you can go ahead and test it and inject it. So now we'll go to the computer and I will show you how to flash it with the burning software. Okay guys, on the computer here, what you're going to want to do is give it a minute or two to install the drivers for your drive. Once that's done and you've waited for it to pop up, it will show up in uh, my computer as an extra drive, which is right here. And once it's done like that, Again, go ahead and make sure just to double check. Go to your device manager, then go to DVD CD ROM drives. Open that up, and you should have it listed. Mine is it's the iHAS 424B drive. It's connected with USB to the X360 USB Pro, so we're good here. Then, just want to make sure you read the tutorial again just to be safe. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your drive and you want to run the update. Just double click on it. Uh, go ahead and hit yes. Uh, you want to make sure you selected the right drive. We have. Then you can hit update. And it, depending on when you got yours, um, if it tells you that your drive firmware is already most updated, just go ahead and hit no. That's what I did. Um, so we're good there. Now we want to go to the EEPROM utility and we want to make sure our drive up here is selected and it is uh, and then you want to just go to backup EEPROM then it's going to ask you where you want to save it so what I'm going to do is go to this folder here and just save it right there then you can go ahead and exit out of this then the next thing you want to do is go to the flash utility then you want to make sure that you select the iHAS 424B drive which is right there then you want to make sure that you select read flash and we'll save it in the same spot save it right here save let it set there do its thing And there it is it's done so what I do is I just exit out of that and then I open it back up you know just to make sure everything's reset that in and then select the drive again and it's ready now to take the update from C forever so go ahead and go to right flash you want to display this here hit yes then you want to go to the drive firmware uh, make sure it's right here it is and it will be the final dot bin hit open it's going to ask you if you want to proceed hit yes just let it sit there don't do anything else and you'll notice that the drive uh, sounds like it turns off and turns back on so hit exit then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the USB unplug the drive plug the drive back up and then reconnect the USB I'll make sure it's up with device manager it is so we'll go to the computer I will eject the drive I will then place in a verbatim backup uh, or just a verbatim disk that I will use for a backup. Let it sit there and read the disk. You should notice a difference here in a couple seconds.
just close that out and there you go that's when you know you're successful the stock internal drive in my laptop which is a blu-ray burner uh, is showing 7.96 gigs of free data on a verbatim dual layer the new light on drive is showing 8.13 gigs of free data which is the one that we just did and that's when you know everything set up and you can go ahead and proceed to burn your backups Carolina Gamer this has been a tutorial on setting up your brand new light on drive from the IHAS B series to write XGD3 backups Carolina Gamer follow me on Twitter subscribe to me on YouTube out